Hello guys, in this uh, tutorial I will show you how to remove a fence in Photoshop with a few simple steps. I'm sure you all have photos from zoo with amazing animals, but if they stay behind the fence the photos does not have too much value. We will start with an image like the one you see and we will have this end result. Open the image with the fence inside Photoshop and uh, duplicate the, the background layer uh, by dragging it to the create a new layer button. Uh, then create a new layer and uh, with the brush tool and with a hard uh, round brush start to, to paint over the, the fence. You can draw with your mouse or with a pen if you have or you can uh, create uh, some straight lines by holding down the shift key and uh, click with the left mouse button where you want to end the uh, straight line. This process is it will uh, take a few minutes and it is not hard at all. When you take photos make sure the subject is in focus. As you can see in this image the seagull is far from the fence and the fence is blurry. If your subject is near the fence it will be sharper and it will be much easier for Photoshop to remove it. In both cases you can remove the fence so do not worry if you have unwanted things between your camera and your uh, subject. On most cases it can be removed. Please uh, look further how I draw these black lines. After you finish, please hold down the command key or control key and right click with your mouse on the layer thumbnail. You will see the selection. 
Then go to select, modify, expand and uh, choose a value between 15 and 20 pixels. Then make sure you have selected the background copy layer and go to edit, fill and make sure you have uh, selected uh, the content aware option. It will take a few seconds until Photoshop will be able to fill that selection. And it's ready. Go to select menu and choose deselect or click on command plus D to deselect. As you can see Photoshop did a very good uh, job. I will uh, create a copy of the layer and then I will uh, click on mask. We need to fix some issues but the rest is very good. Please select the brush tool and make sure you have a soft round brush selected. Then uh, with a black color start to paint where you see issues on the image. As you can see on the leg, there are some issues. On the tail. For this area, I will uh, select the background layer and the background copy number 2 and I will dupli duplicate them and then I will merge them. To merge two layers, please select them and uh, then uh, press on Ctrl E. I will use the clone stem tool to fix some issues. Uh, press on Option click or Alt click to define a source point, then uh, paint over the dark area. As you can see, the dark area is replaced very nice. Uh, in this time, please make sure you have a soft round brush. You can also choose a hard round brush for some different areas. I will use spot healing brush tool to paint over the areas where uh, Photoshop did not uh, uh, made a good job. Uh, on the tail, uh, I will use one more time the clone stem tool and I will uh, delete the this part and uh, then I will uh, uh, select patch tool and I will copy a portion of the feather and place it above and the same I will do also on the bottom here. I will uh, erase a little and uh, also on the, his leg we need to place some feathers. On his left leg I will use the clone stem tool. Uh, I will choose a source point and I will paint uh, where the fence uh, was initially. As you can see, it's almost ready. You can use the dodge tool if you want to brighten the, the scene. It, sometimes it works, sometimes it does not work. Just wanted to show you that you have also this option sometimes. Now all you have to do is to fix issues where you see them. For, for this I recommend you to use the spot healing brush tool and uh, zoom the image and look all, all over the, the image to maybe you can find another issues. For example that line I'll remove also that rock and I think that's it. 
Photoshop did a very good job. Uh, I will uh, leave you the, the image in the description. You can download it and test yourself. And uh, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and give us a like. Also, a share is very welcome. And I will uh, wait you next time for another tutorial or another giveaway. Thank you very much.